Let us consider a simple scenario. That you are working in a room. The humidity level of the room rises. As the temperature of the room rises, so you turn on the fan in the room because you're feeling humid. Let me ask, can we automate this process? For example, when the temperature rises to a certain level, the fan automatically turns on. Think, how? We need a temperature sensor. To measure the temperature level, a fan and a microcontroller that takes input from the temperature sensor and turns on the fan. We can use the Arduino UNO board, which has a built-in microcontroller. Now let us address the question, what is Arduino? Arduino is a company that designs and manufactures open source microcontroller development boards and software called Integrated Development Environment IDE. Integrated Development Environment software is used to program these development boards. A microcontroller is a small computer on a single integrated circuit that has the capability to be programmed. Based on the information input devices generate, it is used to control output devices. Temperature sensors, humidity sensors, light sensors, ultrasonic sensors, proximity sensors, etc. are a few examples of input devices. LCDs, DC motors, servo motors, LEDs, speakers, and seven-segment displays are a few examples of output devices. The Arduino you know is the most widely used development board, even though Arduino offers a variety of other boards. It has 14 digital input-output pins and six analog pins, a USB connector for connecting the board to the computer, a reset button, an external power jack for connecting an external power source Arduino Mega Development Board. Another popular board is the Arduino Mega Development Board. It has 54 digital input and output pins, 16 analog inputs. The Atmega microcontrollers on both boards are different. The Arduino microcontroller boards are programmed using the free, open source Arduino ID software. The Arduino ID has a simple user interface that allows users to easily write code, compile it, and upload it to the board. An Arduino board must be connected to your computer with a USB cable in order to upload code. Arduino's program is called Sketch. Now let us start the procedure. How can we install the Arduino ID? Now Open a web browser and then navigate to Arduino CC. Double click the software tab. Scroll down. Arduino ID is available for different operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. As I am using Windows, I am downloading the Windows version. You can support the Arduino by donating if you want to, or download by clicking the Just Download tab. Downloading will start automatically. Wait for the download process to complete. Oh, begin the installation. Double click the .x file. Click Next. Browse to the directory location on your PC to select the installation location. Wait for installation process to complete. It may take some time. Installation complete successfully. Now we will open the Arduino ID by clicking the icon on the desktop. We can select our desired board by clicking the Tools tab. In the Tools tab, scroll down to Board. Select your target board from the menu. You can create a new project by clicking the File tab and selecting New. 
you can also use different built-in codes by scrolling to the Examples tab. A great variety of built-in codes are available here. The second option is to search for code on the Arduino website. In the Programming tab, scroll down to the built-in example. Tab. Then scroll down the page and click the blink. Blink is the built-in code for blinking the LED on the Arduino board. The circuit schematic is given here, explaining the pins we need to use in the example. Now we can scroll down to the code Arduino sketch. The Arduino sketch is divided into two sections, setup and loop. The setup part runs once. Loop part keeps running repeatedly. The LED pin is configured as a digital output in order to blink the LED. The LED pin voltage is turned high to turn on the LED.